Munija has been training to be a midwife for only six months. Four weeks from now, with the help of her trainer, she'll be delivering this woman's baby. A year from now, she'll be on her own. Don't worry, you should use family planning. Saeva is a gynecologist in Talakan. Most of the women who come to the district hospital here come in an emergency, the last resort when a pregnancy goes wrong. Her name is Tiringi. She's 20, maybe younger, and she's carrying her first baby. To get here, she's traveled nine hours by jeep along rocky mountain tracks. It emerges that a woman in her village, a traditional birth attendant, gave her injections of oxytocin, the drug used to induce labor. The contractions began three days ago, but her pelvis is too small, and now the baby's heart is failing. They wheel her to the operating theater. The baby is not delivered immediately, it'll die. She too is in great danger. There is a risk that her womb will rupture. The doctors decide on an emergency caesarean. She's still in her day clothes as she's helped onto the operating table. Less than a quarter of an hour later, they deliver her baby. It's a girl. She makes no sound, but she is alive. They give the baby oxygen. The baby's heart is not so good. She cannot hear the baby's heart. The mother will live because she was able to get to hospital. But it was too late to save her baby.